Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're here with another Throne of Eldraine deck tech. So these are brews that I'm throwing together that we'll hopefully get to try out as soon as the new set comes out on Thursday. Um, so a lot of them I'm trying to update existing archetypes. Some are new brews, so obviously all these are untested. Um, fully welcome to suggestions, anything I missed. Uh, I usually like brewing on Arena because you can search for keywords. This is me just like on Star City trying to pull together some cards. Uh, so this is the Mono Red Cavalcade update version. So Mono Red Cavalcade is probably going to be the go-to uh, red-based aggro deck. Um, it's relatively cheap overall. It's like 100 bucks in paper it looks like right now. Um, and then in, even in Arena, it's not too bad in terms of rare card count. Uh, so it's played around the namesake card Cavalcade of Calamity. So whenever you attack with a creature with one power or less, it deals one damage to if you're attacking the player or a planeswalker to them. Uh, so basically you're trying to make an army of 1-1s one and then attack into your opponent. Um, so in terms of updates to the deck, uh, I've added in three f uh, Fervent Champions. Uh, so this is a 1-mana one 1-1. One uh, so it's a first strike haste. Whenever it attacks another target attacking knight you control gets plus 1-0 to end the turn. Uh, the second part of its text doesn't really make that much of a difference because uh, we're not really doing equipments. Uh, let me zoom in a bit because changing the view a little so it's a little bit easier to see this way. Um, so playing three of these, uh, because we don't really have any other knights, it's not a synergistic, but it's a hasty first striker so I want to try those out. Maybe right to play four, but we'll see. Three Grim Initiates, another first strike one drop. Uh, Grim Initiate I like because when it dies it creates another 1-1. One, one. Uh, so it's two bodies effectively. Scorch Spitter is one of the premier one drops in the deck. It triggers on the attack, so it deals a damage, triggers off Cavalcade, and then if it deals another damage. Uh, four Shocks, and then four Tin Street Dodgers, another hasty one drop with pseudo evasion. Um, pretty much nobody's playing stuff with defenders, so it's basically unblockable for red mana. We have the four Cavalcades, the four Chandras. Uh, so these are, although it's legendary, it's zero ability to create two 1 1 elementals compounded with cavalcade is a lot of pressure on the opponent uh then i'm doing the same for legion war boss for light up the stage uh i've cut the chandra spitfire um for four torbran Th thane of red fell so this is a four mana uh basically whenever a red source you control deals damage to an opponent or permanent opponent controls deals that much plus two meaning for example Every Cavalcade trigger now does 3 damage. Uh, if you have Scorch Splitter, it deals 3 damage off the attack, 3 damage off the Cavalcade, and then 3 damage if it deals damage, which is a lot more explosive. I usually didn't like Spitfire uh, because it didn't have haste, it died to pretty much everything, and in, usually you have to have a setup turn where your opponent can answer. So I really like Torbin in this deck, it makes all our little dorks just deal a lot more damage. Uh, even the turn, like... You can play it as kind of like a combo turn to just go off and then beat into your opponent. And then I'm playing two Scampering Scorchers. It's three bodies for four mana. It's a nice top end. They all have haste. Mana base wise is 20 lands, 16 mountains, four castle embrants. This is basically a free uh, utility spell in our deck uh, for three mana. So we can declare our attacks and then pump our team for an additional point of damage. All works out well with uh, Thorbrand. Torbrand. Torbrand. Gotta get, I'm going to screw up these names. Um, sideboard wise, uh, so keep in mind with sideboard, uh, this is what I think would be useful from a day, like day one, not knowing what we're playing meta wise, uh, fry versus blue and white things, lava coil versus creature based decks, uh, one robber of the rich versus, uh, more of the control matchups. It's just pseudo card advantage for our deck. Uh, and then a couple Tybalt's three in total for anything that's gaining life, Othakaya decks, stuff like that. And then three experimental frenzies. It may be right just to cut the Robber of the Rich and play a fourth Frenzy uh, versus the grindy matchups where we want the card advantage, but that'll be something we see as we play more games. Um, so this is a very easy deck to kind of get started on. Uh, overall, it is 22 rares, one Mythic, the Mythic being Robber of the Rich, which could be cut. Uh, it's not necessary. You could save another four uh, rares by cutting the Castle Embrance. Um, so it cuts it down pretty well. It's a good aggressive deck, especially on day one while people are dirtling. You can kill them before they have a chance to do anything. Uh, so this will probably be one of the more popular uh, intro decks, if you would. Red deck wins or cavalcades are usually one of the more popular budgety brews. So it's pretty much the list. 
Uh, let me know what you think if I overlooked anything. Um, and on Thursday, I'll be trying to jam as many games as I can with the new cards coming out. Uh, and one last thing, if you are uh, purchasing your cards physically and you're purchasing from TCG Player, I do have an affiliate link in the video description down below. If you click the link and do your purchase as you normally would, uh, just lets them know that I sent you from the channel. It just helps out with a, a little bit of a kickback for the channel. It doesn't cost you anything more other than the cards you're purchasing. And all the money that we kind of generate, which is very little, uh, just kind of goes back into the channel. It's just to get more cards to play. Just trying to get as many decks, as many things as possible. Anyways, thanks for watching. And if you have any recommendations for other videos, just drop it in the video description down below. Sorry, in the comments down below. And I'll try to get to it before Thursday. Thanks for watching and have a great one.